Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about an in-game limited time event called Midwinter Blight. It's winter themed with lots of goodies to unlock and secrets to uncover. It goats live December 12th and ends January 2nd, 2024. But first some quick intros. My name is Bloodshed and I'm accompanied by Marcus Kretz, who's a community manager here on Diablo 4 team, and Derek Nunez, who's a lead live events designer on D4. Welcome everybody. Hey, happy to be here. Hey, what's going on Bloodshed? Hey, so happy to have you guys today. Once Midwinter Blight is active, head over to Kyovishad, and to the left of the waypoint, you'll notice a Midwinter Square. Go ahead and speak with the bard named Gillian. He's your event vendor, so you'll be seeing him a good amount. So Marcus, what type of rewards can we expect to farm up? Well, players can actually get five different back pieces, one for each class that show off this most gruesome holiday. I'm personally running a barb for Season of Blood, so I definitely want to get him one of these with the tusks hanging off the back. They all have skulls, so I'm ready to go. They're pretty wicked. Here are some of the insane weapon skins you can acquire during the holidays. Like we mentioned earlier, players can earn up to 14 different cosmetics across all the classes, all totally free. Well, the demons will be paying for it in blood. Yep, Gillian's helpers are on their way. So you probably want to know how to farm these items. Well, we have three types of event materials for you to look out for. Blighted fragments, lost heirlooms, and red cloaked trophies. They all can be acquired from the purple zone on the map. Let's go ahead and cover all three types. You're gonna find the majority of Blight Fiend fragments just from the Blight Fiend monsters on the map. Lost heirlooms drop from these gruesome looking frigid husks we have scattered throughout the zone. But to find the trophies, you'll need to decapitate the red cloaked horror. He's a big bad goat and has a chance to spawn when you complete the mastery for the Blighted Revelry event. It's hidden randomly in the zone, so keep an eye out. Also, when you slay the beast, you'll earn yourself a fancy new title for doing so. Once you've amassed enough midwinter materials, head back over to Midwinter Square, and next to Gillian, there's a crafting bench. Use this to convert all the materials you just farmed into midwinter proofs. This will be the main currency for the event. By converting these materials into proofs, you'll raise your tribute tier with midwinter, and it'll also change visually and give you more rewards, such as gold armor, gem fragments, and Gillian's brew. Marcus, what in the heck is Gillian's brew? Well. Gillian's Brew is a special elixir that increases your maximum life, your lucky hit chance, and experience gained by 15%. It can be purchased from, well, Gillian, or found in Midwinter Caches. Also, you can farm a Midwinter-specific offensive aspect called the Shard of Dawn. This aspect increases your attack speed and movement speed for 12 seconds. And, if you're empowered by the Midwinter Ward, every enemy you kill reduces the cooldown by one second, which makes it very handy for mowing down Blight Fiends. So Derek, what do we hope to achieve by adding limited time events, opposed to just adding to the existing systems that are in the game currently? Yeah, that's a great question. So one of the best things about the limited time events like the Midwinter Blight are the opportunities that they provide us for experimentation. Uh, they're a fantastic platform for uh, testing out new concepts or playing with remixes of existing features and systems that players are already accustomed to, but you know, our opportunity to package them up and present them in a novel manner for players to enjoy while the event is active. Um, in a best case, some of the concepts that we explore and try out may also in turn inspire or empower future permanent systems and features that we might be exploring down the line. Yeah, who doesn't love a good experiment? Is there any way to show the red cloaked horror the true meaning of the holiday season? Can we make their heart grow three sizes? <laughs> I really wish that there was a redemption arc to all of this, but unfortunately, some goat men are beyond redemption. So the best way to show the red cloaked horror the error of his ways is to put him down as many times as you can while he's around. Sometimes tough love is just unfortunately the only way. Yes, I like that. <laughs> I noticed Gillian's brew gives 15% XP opposed to the normal 5% that elixirs give. So my ults, thank you for that, number one. Um, do, do this brew only work in event zones or can you use it outside of that? Yeah, yeah, you know, Gillian brews the good stuff. So yeah, the best thing is that Gillian's brew works everywhere. And beyond that, all of the rewards that you can earn through him persist beyond the conclusion of the event. So you earn it once, it's yours. So definitely recommend you stockpile as much as you can. Nice, it's a pretty sweet brew, I do have to say. So Derek, What's the most effective way to collect midwinter proofs? Do you have a pro strat for the players who wanna get them as fast as possible? Yeah, so 
My specific strategy revolves around mapping out my routes. So since the vast majority of local events are themed after the midwinter creatures, it's never a waste to stop by one. You'll always be making rapid accelerated progress by you know visiting one. So I map out my routes and utilize my mount speed to get from point A, you know, point to point to point, and you know, stopping off, hopping off the horse when I spot the occasional, you know, fridge of husk or two or big batches of blight fiends. Um, so I take a pretty casual approach to things, so I'm excited to see what types of uh, efficiencies players come up with. Mm. Hear me out, guys. Secret goat level when? <laughs> Who told you? No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so no secret goat level, but there are secrets yet to be discovered uh, within the Midwinter Blight. Can you tell us why the Blight Fiends have started to construct the Frigid Husks? They just hate the holidays? Yeah, you know, uh, considering the fact that the Midwinter Blight is the dark phenomenon that's you know, overtaking the Fractured Peaks, I'd probably say that the Blight Fiends are probably the most festive of all the denizens of Sanctuary during this time. The only issue is that their expression of this festivity is in the form of building out these horrid constructs out of the body parts of their victims and whatnot. So you can actually see them dancing around occasionally too, which is always fun to see. But again, it's unfortunate that their expression of you know, merriment is in such a sadistic and mischievous violent manner. Well, that is Diablo, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Staying well, hey, on brand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we really appreciate you taking the time to answer these questions today. And Marcus, thanks for helping out. Yeah, cheers, Ruben. See ya. That's going to be all from us today, everyone, and I'll see you in Sanctuary. Yeah.